You need to keep it sexy. The reason only the next is the best one is because it's the sexiest one. Hey everyone, uh, it's only the next. I want to break down my new song. The sexy factor. Show you how I made it, show you some tricks and let's go. It started with this sample. I change the key of the sample. I duplicate the samples and uh, change the semitones, change the octaves. Then I process with a lot of effects and to not destroy my CPU, I render it to one solid piece and reprocess it again. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about this plugin. I really love uh, the Ableton warp mode. Sometimes you pitch down or pitch up any sound and it creates very cool digital artifacts. All these pieces is from that one sample. It's just different notes, it creates variations. And variations is what I was looking for in this track. The track is really minimalistic and if the sound was quiet and not beefy as it is with all this effect, it will not work like it worked in this track. Another my favorite part in this track. If I disable all the percussion elements, So the percussion here is very important and it's probably the busiest uh, bus. It's really a lot of stuff. By the way, overall it's a 121 track and it's, I think it's my record. It's so easy when you have a lot of things going on to become real messy. Sometimes you need to, to add a lot of things and then, then clean the things. I automate the filters, the delay. When you close the filter, this trick was just to slow it down. After all this like big sound, I want to like close it a little bit and prepare a listener for the outro part. Original it was it was the sound, but when you pitch it down 14 semitones in this case, clean all the low frequencies. So it's just audio piece with a lot of artifacts, which is cool to me. I like artifacts. I found them pretty. All these small elements make your tracks breathe, because if it was just uh, this sample flip with the bass and the kick, it would be so boring. Main element, main sample, pretty re repetitive, but with all these percussions, it's breeze, sounds organic, sounds interesting. It's helped with the transition a lot. Without all the effects. With the effects. So it's movement and one more time, the movement in your music, in your track, it's in my opinion, the most important part. And that note change everything, like, give me uplifting moment.
it's the same node that I'm using here. It's pitched down, the same node just pitched down. Even uh, two octaves down, little blade, flangers. Why uh, working in audio or bounce everything to audio? Actually, because every time you can just simply drag some parts and move it everywhere you want and try some things, pitch down, pitch up. And it's create variation, it's create some movement. <laughs> Automating the portal, which is pitch up a little bit. Maybe I miss the flight so much, but this um, the sound brings me brings me emotion. And by the way, it's actually a very cool noise effect. And we land in restaurant ambience. Originally. simple restaurant but with the delay section it give us some interesting reflections and uh, gratefully who is your friend interesting moment is the basis the second I would call this course it's uh, actually different note and it uh, brings me different feels It's completely different uh, pattern and different notes that in the first course, in the first drop, whatever. So it was just some serum presets I found uh, without all the effects. Sounds like this. Very simple. But with the thermal. Then I bounce to audio and another reason why because the sample here using as well. I really love this part. Originally it's the main sample with the portal. This part is uh, very important because here I have like the busiest part, apogee, emotion, and then it kind of slows down. People still in this restaurant. Again, texture. Without it, it's like pretty dry. I mean, it works, but I want to add like a bit like human elements. It was kind of raggedy and wild. And she was very beautiful, you know? Without the effects. These two people. It's already sound vintage, but I, I want to add even more vintage feel, so I use echo. They were in love with it. Vinyl emulation, the filters, the saturation uh, parameter. Slap delay. I love slap delays. By the way, uh, some people was ask me about the piano. It's uh, just original piano from Ableton. So all these little things add textures to the sound and it's more rich. Without all the effects. So you hear the difference. And here is the good example, like one more time, the effects 
impact the sound so much. The RC20, the vinyl plugin. The rack with all these delay variations. And as you see here, I cut the lows and the highs to make it more low fi feel. And the guy was quite a bit older. He was kind of raggedy and wild. She was very beautiful, you know? They turned everything into a... Only the next. That was, that one stood out to me straight away when I heard it. I'm a big fan of Only the Next. It had the best groove of them all, you know. Okay. Like it, it, it probably it rolls along. It was the one where I just felt the movement in it. It's so important. The feel of rhythms in things and the timing on things means the world to me. And when you get that feel right, so the grooves there in the music, and it just becomes a bit more. Of, you know, it makes you respond physically. Like, that's such a key thing, you know. And this one just had that movement and role in the timing that was a bit looser and sexier than everything else. I mean, the beat's great, and then there's a really nice breakdown in the middle, and it comes back in. It's just, yeah, it's very elegantly put together. If I was in a shop and I was skipping through records or whatever, and I heard this beat, I would have been like, oh, this is, uh, this has got the right feel. It's got the bounce. The bounce, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bounce. And, you know, we were saying earlier that combination of innovation and production at the same time, those things are both locked in. Like, it sounds good. Yeah. And, you know, it's not like the sounds are interesting. It's got some, like, uniqueness to it.